Apparently, I swear a lot. Holy s***. Holy s***. Holy s***. Holy s***. Holy s***. Oh, brakes. Holy s***. Hello, over. I'm gonna turn on the light. <laughs> Hello everyone, Tom here, and welcome back to another video on the Raisin Joker channel. It's been a long time since I've done a vlog, and as you can tell, I'm in the room I did some of my first vlogs in. That'll be explained in another video, probably. So yeah, before I get started, I'm just going to say I'm going to try and cut down on the swearing. Um, I know Harley would appreciate it if I kept things more child-friendly. So, um, you guys may have noticed, I've, I stopped uh, uploading payback videos, because I was trying to upload those daily. Well, the reason why I haven't been able to upload anymore is because I don't have access to my desktop right now. And I need my desktop because my desktop has Wondershare video converter on it. And I have to convert videos so that everything is like in the same format. Because otherwise audio gets out of sync over a certain period of time and it just gets annoying to edit. So I always, every time I do a stage of editing, I'll run the final product through Wondershare and keep going, then put the face cam on top and do voice audio and other things like that so that everything is in, in sync so that, um, so that my commentary isn't reacting to things that haven't happened yet or, thing, or, or like things that have already happened and it's like 10 seconds late. Because that gets really annoying. Because I don't want to like individually every 10 seconds adjust the audio like a pixel. That's dumb. So yeah, you're not, you guys won't be getting any more payback videos, unfortunately, until January. Because I won't have access to my desktop for the whole of Christmas, which is really annoying. Because you guys were, those videos are the most popular videos on the channel right now. And the channel's doing pretty good thanks to those videos, you know. Suddenly we're getting, like, 20 to 80 views a day because of those videos. And the goal is to get to 10,000 views total and whatever subscriber, number of subscribers. We're at 21 right now. Because when you get to 10,000, you're able to do monetization stuff and make money and other things like that, which would be cool to do. Um, we've been getting a lot of comments on the uh, how to get a Nissan Skyline GTR R34 in the US. Uh, getting a lot of comments on that video. It's really cool. It's cool to have conversations with you guys about that stuff. I'm really enjoying that. I'm really digging the interaction. That's really cool. And some other news, kind of bad news, sad news, man news. Uh, I had to cancel the spoiler order. No wing for the car. You guys are going to have to wait a little longer for that. So am I, which is annoying. Because um, I'm leaving Iowa for about six months. Won't be back until August or September at the latest. It's, it sucks. I really like Iowa, so I do intend to come back and I intend to stay. Um, but yeah, I had to cancel the spoiler, which also means no wrap as well because I'm not going to be a convenient location for that because I can't, I can't do the wrap before the spoiler. I can't do that. I need to spoil the first. So no spoiler, no wrap. But I'm going to be spending the next six months working, so I'll be able to afford both very easily anyways. And maybe a few other things. Maybe I'll put headers and exhaust on. You know, maybe I can do multiple things at once. Um, then we'll be... The, the progress of the car will be sped up by a lot. Or I might save the money for an apartment. Who knows? We'll see. Will I be responsible or crazy? We shall see. And so I'm not actually in the place where that I'm going to be staying for the next six months. I am just... At my parents' house, we're going to be going on a road trip for the winter break. Um, I'm actually going to be in Illinois for the next six months. Uh, but yeah, but since I'm here, I might as well show you something. I'm going to show you the car that I did a lot of driving practice in before I got the WRX. So without further ado, let's go to the garage. <laughs> what? What? High five. Milo, high five. Really? <laughs> he would only do it when I move my hand away. Slip-ons for lazy people like me. Are you guys ready for this? So here it is. This is a 2016 BMW 340i uh, X-Drive. I just want to show you the badge. 
This car is very cool. We got it when we first came back to the U.S. Because for those of you who don't know, we lived overseas, and when we came back, my dad had a uh, an E90 3 Series, and he really liked it, so he thought he would get a newer 3 Series. So we got the 340i with the B58 motor, which is probably my favorite modern uh, BMW motor, and the second being the S63, which is the twin turbo V8 that they have in the M5 and the M6, or well, the M55i, I believe now. Um, this car is really special though because it has a diamond tuning package and so this car makes 400 plus horsepower that's really cool so i'm gonna get in turn it on and um you know show you what this car does when you rev it just a little bit you know because my car crackles this car this car is cool <laughs> i really like the interior the interior is so nice but my favorite part is the steering wheel the steering wheel is so perfect the steering wheel in my car is pretty nice too but this is like i want to get an e46 m3 if i haven't said that already and i would love to have this steering wheel in an, e, in an e46 because the stock wheel on e46 is not good but getting this and integrating it with all the other electronics in the e46 oh this it would be so nice oh i love this wheel so much so anyways uh i don't think Obviously, this is keyless entry, so I just have to press a button. Oh, wait. I think I have to put my foot on the brake. There we go. So this car... Let's close this for just a moment, because this car has a lot of cool things on the inside that I that I really enjoy. So, like, my car has this a heads-up display kind of like this. Let's go through it. Uh, let's go to... Let's do menu. If I go into vehicle info, I can go into sport displays and it will tell me how much power and torque the car is making. Ain't that cool? It's kind of like my car, except it has the torque reader as well. So revving it is really fun. And this, the inline six in this car, so this, this car has the B58 motor, which is inline six, single turbo, but I believe it's a twin scroll turbo. That's why they call it twin power. You know, apparently BMW twin power refers to twin scroll or twin turbo. Go figure. Branding, it's a little weird. Um, but it's very cool. So I'm gonna now put the camera outside behind the car, do a few revs, and you guys can see what happens. So a little bit of backstory. So I lived overseas for most of my life. So I couldn't get my license until I was until I was 18, um, which is which is a shame because all my all my friends in the U.S. was able, were able to get their first cars and their licenses way before me, and I had to wait forever. But it paid off in the end because I got I got a WRX, which is a very nice first car and all that sorts of stuff. But the cars I practiced it, practice in were cars that my family had and stuff like that, where I would visit them and I would practice for like a week and go back to Singapore or the Netherlands and wait until I could drive again. So the first car I ever did any practice in was my grandfather's Mountaineer. And I practiced in that a lot. And then after that, I had actual driver's ed classes. And they had me drive around in a Honda Civic. I, I can't remember what year it was. It was, hmm. I think it was like two or three body styles ago. Um, and then after that, it was my, uh, my father's 340i. And then a year later, I was able to get the WRX. But I had the most seat time in the BMW before I got the WRX. Now I have a ton of seat time in the WRX. Just overshadows everything. So now the, so now the WRX is the easiest car to drive. In, in, the, in the BMW, what's interesting is that you have to give more foot input to make the car do anything. The car is still a lot faster, has twice as much power, but you have to give it more. And um, the, the paddle shifters are also kind of interesting. You know, they shift a lot faster. Um, but it's weird, it's weird being in automatic mode because it'll shift before 2500 RPM. And it'll just go, it'll just go all the way down to like fifth or sixth gear in like a second. And you'll be like, stop shifting. I want to hear the motor. Oh, well. 
But that's automatics for you. You can, go, you can put it into manual mode, but that, that's kind of unnecessary in, te in Texas because there's nowhere to go. People everywhere. Crazy people. So, um, yeah, you know, quick recap on just a couple other things. I am going to be going on a road trip and I'm going to be writing my book, going to be finishing the book. I will give you guys updates on that. I will be recording a few different things from the road trip, you know, scenery going by, my dogs being silly or sleeping next to me while I was in the car, um, clips of me making progress in the writing, somehow I'll do that. Um, the difference in the weather, the scenery, as I said. And uh, last but not least, um, when 2018 begins, you get to expect some more videos. So obviously I'm going to be resuming the, the, the payback videos in January, sometime after January 14th or 15th. I'll be able to edit again. But as soon as the year starts, you will get to look forward to the Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005 videos. And once I finish editing the uh, payback Let's Play, I'll start uh, sending out um, the Batman Arkham Asylum videos. Because I have recorded a couple times, two or three, I can't remember. And uh, so I'll be able to pump some of those out and do that Let's Play as well. That'll be cool, a little bit of diversity, racing, comics, Batman, you know, makes sense with my name, the racing, so cars, and then Joker, you know, just do some Batman stuff. So yeah, that's cool to look forward to. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this short and hopefully informative vlog. Hope you guys are hyped for any of the things I've said. Hope you guys enjoyed me watching my dad's car get revved. <laughs> was a bit obnoxious, but I really wanted to do it. I really want to show you guys how easily that exhaust crackles and pops. Snap, crackle, pop, why so cereal? That's, that's the motto of the Racing Joker family. So if you're an inmate, if you're, you're part of the crew, part of the team, part of the army, if you're an inmate, snap, crackle, pop, why so cereal? So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in future videos. Tom, the Racing Joker, signing out. Stay crazy.